specifically was on my iPhone X. I don't even know what iPhone I have. Uh, I actually did an unboxing of this on uh, uh, my channel uh, a couple of years back, so you can actually check that out. Um, so yeah, these used to be quite popular back in the day. I'm not sure how popular they are now. Probably not so. I'm always behind on the trends, it seems. But um, yeah, I always find it quite interesting to see how people and their phone, the layout of their phone, what wallpapers they have, I think your phone can tell quite a lot about you, um, so um, who knows, this could be quite insightful for you guys as well, just to see what kind of person I'm like and see what I'm into, you know, how I organise my stuff basically, so without further ado, how about we actually just get into the door, so let's screen As you can see, this is my home page, but let's start with the lock screen. So let's just swipe down there. So this is my lock screen. Um, a lot of you guys may be able to already tell what this image is from. It's from a film called Princess Mononoke. Princess Mononoke, and that's a sh and that's a Studio Ghibli film. So yeah, a lot of you guys probably have heard seen this film at least um, as one of my favorite films I absolutely adore it I just fell in love with it as soon as I watched it uh, for reference it is a five out of five for me on letterboxd um, which we'll get to in a bit so uh, I love this I absolutely adore this film um, and so you can see the time it is currently just gone past half six uh, I've chosen quite this spot. 
represented myself or most of the time I am just taking pictures of my cat um, <laughs> so yeah if we um, actually go on photos the first, well we have view and review some photos of me <laughs> some suggestions what if we go to library oh, so most, uh, pretty much the reason ones were just um, uh, screenshots to get a um, to get a home page and deck out my phone because this is the first time I've actually customised my phone I've never done it before for like I've had this phone for pretty much two years now and I've kept it in its normal state all that time and I kind of felt like it was time to like freshen things up so originally I wanted um, uh, I wanted uh, Attack on Titan I just realised I did take a photo of my passport recently so we're not going to actually look through them because <laughs> that will be bad so um, yeah so I did originally look at Attack on Titan screenshots but a lot of them are quite low quality so I, I didn't settle for it uh, and as you can see I've kept a, a, a space a space where I can't remember his name <laughs> where our main character from Princess Mononoke lives that's, that's really embarrassing I say it's one of my favourite films but I can't remember their names I'm going to have to watch it soon I might watch it tonight so I've, I've kept a space above his head so that we can see their faces and I've done that for I think pretty much every single screen Right, so we'll see. So that is the first page, pretty clean, not a lot on there. Um, yeah, so yeah, next page. So this is kind of like a subsidiary, like a second part to the first page. Um, so this is all the stuff I would have wanted on the first page, so I could easily get access to, but yeah, there's no space of all the widgets and whatnot. So here, the big first thing you will notice is the notes page. So we have best games yesterday, Elden one of them being Martin McBudder, uh, 4.30 Friday call, assessment day, 5 triggers I hate, mouth sound, spit painting, a small restaurant, some drinks, ASMI, ASMR ideas, would you rather test, so I use note quite regularly um, to jot down mostly any ideas that I have, so as you can see there's three separate pages just for a smart loan the biggest one being the a smart ideas page i have done the fighters on there a lot of them which have been sitting there for <laughs> from months to even up to a year that I, even, that I haven't even done yet so it goes back a long time and then the a smart restaurant is this role play idea i've been tossing around with for a couple of months now and i really want to get around to doing it it's just quite a big a big task to Gmail. Okay, now you're going to be looking at Gmail and you might have already fainted. 
some way of having like a, a really big inbox of emails. I've read somewhere it's not good for your footprint or something. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. But um, yeah, I know it's atrocious. I want to see this some way. You can just like get rid of all of it, like all of the stuff you haven't opened and, and whatnot. Because I know it's bad. I know it is. And then we have the calendar. I don't really use calendar. It's just to just have it there. Calculator. I do use quite a bit sometimes if I just need to calculate something. It's just, yeah, useful to have. And then we have FaceTime. I haven't really used FaceTime at all. I used to, I used to use it a lot when I was at university. And when Pat was at university. So we can, like, FaceTime over long distance. And then we have the App Store, which, of course, well, to get new apps if I ever want them. I mean, I forgot to talk about the, um, the little toolbar underneath. I, I don't actually know its name. It's not called the Island. That's on the new phones. I don't know what it's called. So we have calls, decks, Safari, and settings. Um, I access Safari quite a lot, so I thought why not just have it down at the bottom. Same with settings. Sometimes I just want to, you know, change settings around or yeah. <laughs> and then um, text calls. Obviously, it's just easier to access them if you're going to be using them quite a lot. And I, you may see eighty. Messages that I haven't opened again. I think that's from like spam or like um, scams as well. Spam scams, all the lot of them that I just never opened because, well, what's the point of that? Spam and scams. So, yep, yeah, that's, that's what that is essentially. Okay, so that is two pages done already. Two pages done. Okay, swiping over. Oh, here we get to the more interesting. socials page um, so at the top we have YouTube I love this YouTube widget so from here you can directly search into YouTube or you can go to your home shorts or subscriptions I will never be clicking that shorts button in my life um, I mainly just click the subscriptions button because well I'm subscribed to a lot of people and like I said I'm always on YouTube constantly and I'm constantly checking if favorite YouTubers have posted a video so always always checking through the subscriptions tab and uh, yeah it's just nice having like a nice big widget for YouTube and I have it at the top because well it's my main it's my priority um, social and then under that underneath YouTube the next widget is Twitch <laughs> now um, by the way this took me quite a while to set up my phone I like spent like all day the other day just kind of like organizing it structuring how I wanted it, you know, playing around with different size widgets, see what works, see what didn't work, see what I could fit onto one page, and also keep it so that they, uh, I had the uh, two spots left free to see their faces, because that's just how I like it. So as you can see, look, it's all it follows the same, the same structure and system. Um, that's just how I wanted it, because um, I did, I don't know, I think there's something that looks clean about it. Um, so yeah, we have a preview of who I follow on Twitch. So right now Flats is live. I do want to uh, some flat sometimes subscribe to him on YouTube. Um, and then if no one that you follow is alive, I'll actually recommend a channel a channel. So yesterday he recommended to me ML7 who I am subscribed to on YouTube, but I just don't follow them on Twitch. So because I do primarily only watch Overwatch on Twitch, I you know yeah, I get recommended a bunch of Overwatch streamers. Emong was recommended to me um, earlier today. I, you know, again, I do follow him on YouTube, uh, but yeah, typically, um, it'll be super, super DF, um, on this live now Twitch, and I think, I think it just looks kind of cool, really, and then the, uh, the four, um, apps next to Twitch are my main four social apps, now I know Spotify isn't technically a social app, but it's, it's one of my most used apps, so I thought why not put it in the social section, makes sense for me if I'm going to be accessing it regularly why not have it here you know one of the first few pages on my phone so we have snapchat of course which I just use to message better my friends basically uh, Instagram of course for checking out well posts I'm on Instagram actually yeah, I'm on Instagram a fair bit to see you know any updates just entertainment basically um, and now oh, like yesterday they released threads or something I think it's just another Yeah, I understand why Mark has done it, you know. Twitter is 
the bin right now, so why not capitalize off that and release your own version of Twitch in the form of the threads? Uh, I just, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't have apps like Be Real. I don't understand Be Real either. Like, I, like I'm, 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 I'm someone who doesn't really like posting myself or like. That's very. It sounds very contradictory because I post myself constantly on YouTube, but that's like content creation, and I don't really care for like posting myself outside of that. You know, um, I just find it a waste of time. Basically, I just find it a waste. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of yeah posting myself and be real. Just kind of. I don't know. I don't, like. I don't care what other people are up to in the moment. You know, I, I, I don't care for that sort of stuff. And I feel like. There's so many apps now where it's like we're just sucked on just being on our phones all the time. Um, and TikTok, I've been very, very tempted to uninstall TikTok recently just because I keep on finding myself watching TikTok and I keep on t t a telling and asking myself the same thing. Why do I even care about this? Like, I, like I literally tell my tell myself I don't care about this and I just turn it off. And yeah, I've been doing that a lot recently. I think I think maybe I just need to uninstall it. <laughs> I think I might need to. Um, so yeah, and then of course YouTube Studio, so I can access, um, well, see how the viewers do and respond to comments, um, check out revenue, or stuff like that. Um, I haven't actually, I've actually not really used Studio a lot, all that much, just because, well, it's very off-putting to seeing everything just plummet. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, it's been like that for ages, and it's just very, it's, it's just, yeah, it's not good seeing it all, all the, all the down and all the reds and, and whatnot, um, so I kind of stay away from YouTube Studio um, a little bit, and then next to that, one of my favourite apps that I've got in the last year or so, and that is Letterboxd, 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 this is a fantastic app, if you love films, well you've probably already heard of this app, but if you haven't, it's a place where you can record uh, ratings for films that you've watched, and you it's basically a database for every single film that you've ever watched um, and there's a social aspect to it as well so you can leave reviews people can like reviews um, they can see what your friends are raising on the app as well it's fantastic and you can have um, a watch lists as well so films you want to watch uh, and you can create a list of like your top 50 favorite films and whatnot it's a, it's a fantastic app it's really really good so i recommend any film lovers or any you know anyone interested in checking out in general definitely download it um and then next to that we have the um twitter the the devil the devil bird basically um i don't really use twitter i i, I might check it like the, i think the only thing i get my feed on twitter is overwatch news that is it and then i will see like the odd political or toxic post and i'll be like okay yeah nah, nah i'm off twitter i i just I despise Twitter. I I just think it's it, there's no benefit to using Twitter. <laughs> I literally I can't think of a single benefit. Like I said, I use it for Overwatch news and seeing uh, like Overwatch content creators post Overwatch stuff. And I'll be on it for like a, like a minute or two, and I'll be like, okay, yeah, that's, I'm literally gaining nothing from being on Twitter. So yeah, um, I do have a Twitter account. I don't think I've I don't think I've posted on there for like a year and I, I never will it's very <laughs> i don't like twitter um, and then we have ways 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 which is a navigation travel app um so like a sat -nav app basically um so much better than google maps a hundred times better than um apple's version i feel like apple's version of like every normal app is terrible apple can't seem to make good apps like the weather app travel uh, the sat nav app terrible 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 uh, but ways is really good and again it's all like better box they've capitalized on like the social aspect of it as well um which is just smart in general um so yes yeah, so it is like a, a sat nav app so you know if you want to get to destination you know you plot it in you, you know how sat navs work um but also you can uh uh, record if there's any traffic, any road accidents, any like police on the road, and you can send it to through the app, and it will actually uh, 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 notify and allow for people using the app to see if there's you know if they're going the same route, what traffic's coming up, and what best route to take. Um, so you kind of help out other drivers as well, you know, uh, updating the app 
as you go along and it encourages it, it encourages you to do this by giving you points um, I can't remember what you spend the points on but um, yeah it's a very good incentive I think the whole model of ways is fantastic the guy you or well gal whoever came up with the idea is a genius it is such a good good product um, and uh, yeah you can actually see like other people with their little icons their little ways icons driving around and uh, yeah it's quite funny it's quite good so i definitely recommend if you haven't seen or checked out ways before download it give it a go it's quite a bit of fun own okay. game and then we have facebook which i do not use i do not even remember the last time i even went on facebook and then whatsapp i don't remember the last time i used whatsapp i just don't like facebook i don't like a lot of social media um i'll use it if i can get some entertainment from it but then i find myself asking this entertainment has no value to me whatsoever i'm literally gaining nothing from it so you know uh socials a a our phones we're all, we're all glued to the <laughs> society i don't know um so yeah that is my social page and then whoosh, if we go to the next page probably the most unique page i think that i have i don't think a lot of people will have um page like this on their phones so i have like fluff all over my face so this is my shoes slash sneakers page uh, so as you can see it is just full of shoes and shoe apps and and whatnot so uh, if we start with the top left we can see our four main applications that i use so stockx nike nike adidas and confirmed or nike you know if you're american um so yeah stockx i've bought a fair few shoes from them you know controversial you know selling fakes and whatnot i haven't bought a pair from there from them for quite a while actually i think the last pair i got from them was around two years ago which were a pair of jordan one lucky greens are they called lucky greens they're a green colorway based on one of the boston celtics when i think michael jordan just completely demolished them um and then of course nike uh, and adidas being the two main the two giants basically in the shoe world and then confirmed being at the sneakers version of of nike so like where more of the exclusive and highly uh, desired shoes are released and then next to that we have actually a news page for shoes so um you can actually set a news widget to show you like specific topics so i have this one set for sneakers uh, because sneakers well i think it's one of my hobbies and so i like to know a little bit about the sneaker world if there's any news information i find it quite interesting so um i quite like having this news at all and you can click on it and it'll take you to the um the news page so the nike air max 10 uh, one uh, 180 <laughs> uh ultramarine was one of the first ever air max sneakers and it's back uh it, it looks all right I, I personally wouldn't wear it <laughs> and then you go off it and then i think it changes once you've clicked on it does it change let's go back and forth or do you have to like go back and then go on there i don't know sometimes it changes oh, there we are see look and that was the it go approved way to wear dress dresses or sneakers so something that doesn't really apply to me hey interesting never the least um and then underneath all that we have probably my favorite widget on my entire phone and that is the upcoming drops sneakers calendar um you can actually get an even bigger version of this the same size as the notes widget and it will like list like a whole calendar but it just takes up too much space and i had too many sneakers apps um there's too many like shoe apps to uh to use the big one so i've had to come with the medium size widget um and it basically just shows all the upcoming releases so we can see there's uh, an air jordan too low we got a was that a vapor wave max thing i don't know and was that a jordan is that a six or a seven i want to say that's a jordan a seven isn't it i think that's a jordan seven i don't know it looks like a cool colorway and then you can click on the shoe and it takes you to the app it doesn't take you to the shoe that you clicked on though no. okay uh also what dropped today phone was it's for 230 quid 230 wow okay i wasn't even too sure if they were still releasing phone posits i don't think they've actually released one of these in years these were big i think i want to say 2010 around there um oh yeah and, yeah no 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 i think i prefer air jordan 2 lows to air jordan 2 highs i think the 2 lows look a lot better still probably the worst jordan um yeah the twos are just had a really weird comeback like two or so years ago really weird uh, okay yes i was right here's a jordan 7 i really like that colorway i really like that 
that's really nice I may make it close tabs on that uh, and then yeah you can just see I was what the what is that that is that's interesting so yeah you can just see upcoming and sneaker releases and then underneath I have basically all these apps of for like sneaker raffles so you know so I want to enter like the, the upcoming Travis Scott Jordan release I will basically use all these apps and just enter their raffle so souls of actually no soul supply is like another uh, well it basically shows you all upcoming shoe releases across like multiple different brands so it shows new balance as well i would actually say new balance is probably my favorite shoe brand right now and if i was going to continue but well, i haven't actually bought any shoes in a while but if i was going to get more shoes it would 100 percent be from new balance so they just make the best shoes uh, best quality, best comfort, well maybe not best comfort, but the comfort is still really good, and then SNS for patrol, for patrol launches, size launches, and ends, so yeah, they all do like raffles and, and whatnot, so yeah, sneakers, uh, a little bit excessive, but I quite like it, <laughs> um, okay, so here we have basically the spending page, uh, so at the top, the top half is orders, like shops, and then the bottom half is for food, so at the top we see we have Amazon which I use a lot, I do use Amazon a lot to buy games, books, just other bits and bobs here and there, you know next day delivery or even same day delivery, really really useful. And then we have ASOS, I think I bought every item of clothing from ASOS for like the past four years, um, I do actually do need to do another ASOS haul soon because it's now summer summer clothes so I do need to do need to treat myself properly do some uh, nice new clothes uh, and then we have the G Fuel app as you guys know I have a lot of G Fuel I really like G Fuel love the product well sponsored <laughs> um, I feel like I always have to say that because people do uh, have the impression that I am sponsored by them but I'm not um, so yeah the G Fuel app uh, and then we have Argos as well I use Argos quite a lot primarily for Pokemon based products um, again they have a same day delivery and there's an Argos near near where I live so um yeah uh, I, I, Argos and Amazon are kind of similar I kind of go back and forth between them you know buy games off there as well um, they're good yeah Argos is really good for electronics so that's kind of primarily where I would get them from and then we have this app called shop a really good um, tracking shipment tracking app uh, I used it uh, I first downloaded it when I first got my first shipment of G4 because that's how I could track it because of course it's from America so that's how I could originally track it and then once it you know got to the UK I can then follow up with Royal Mail because that's how most of my packages are delivered is either with Amazon or Royal Mail uh, and uh, yeah shop is really just kind of like yeah pushing I've seen shop actually I think sponsor a few people like on uh, uh, YouTube was a bit crazy they have changed things a little bit it used to literally just be like an orders page so we can see what i've ordered recently uh stock x waiting for details oh no yeah i think before i had an order confirmed for a pair of shoes and then they cancelled it for some reason oh no 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 they were sent back the, the shoes were sent back so i don't know if they were fakes or what was wrong with them but yeah i was gonna buy a pair of shoes but they were sent back this was like months ago months ago months ago so other orders my berserk manga uh i ordered of course the uh the elite controller um the pokemon cards and zelda g fuel pokemon books g fuel so yeah pretty much the same same regular stuff and then again royal mail like i said most of my shipments come through royal mail so that's how uh that's how i track them and then paypal and then nationwide both just to deal with money and, and finance and you know paypal to pay rent or like some of my revenue comes through paypal and then you have to transfer it to nationwide and then nationwide is all my banking because what i find crazy what i found out recently is i don't this could be completely wrong but i don't think America has mobile banking, which is crazy. Like, you guys don't have contactless either, I'm pretty sure. Like, I was baffled when I heard this. You guys don't have con contactless or mobile banking. What? Um, yeah, with, like, mobile banking, we can just click on well, our banking app, say someone wants money, blah, 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 send it through, and they get it straight away. And then contactless card, boom, tap your card on the card machine. It just does it. You, need to, you don't need to input anything. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's just what I heard. I, I That could be wrong. I don't know, but to me, I just find that crazy. Um, so yeah, banking. Uh, and then we have... 
Compass card for Nationwide and Revolu and also I use Wallet when um, I have a, a boarding pass for a, when I'm traveling which is really really useful you, you know you just download like the EasyJet app and you can do it through there and it's just really easy to access and they can scan your QR code and you're free so you don't have to deal with like paper boarding passes and you know get out your wallets and whatnot just get out your phone scan it you're through it's easy um, and then we have the food section which I do visit quite regularly <laughs> So, I have Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Just Eat, you know, the big three, I primarily use Uber Eats, um, and then Deliveroo, and then I don't really use Just Eat, I don't like Just Eat as much, the UI on Just Eat is terrible, uh, and then my McDonald's and Domino's, and this magical app called Weatherspoons. Now, Weatherspoons here in the UK is, like I said, is a magical place where drinks are cheap, um, it's, it's, it's a fantasy, basically. <laughs> and they're dotted all over the UK. They're basically like these pubs, and they all kind of follow the same style of trekking up a mountain to get to the toilets, the same carpet, the same chairs. It's all very, very odd. And there's um, the one in my town. Uh, and then the big, not the big city, but the main city next to me, there's two of them. So, you know, there's three weather spoons I can go visit, though. Um, and so, yeah, food. We are getting near the end, so you can, you, as you can see, I have a lot of pages. So, one, two, three, four, five, and now we're on to our sixth page, and this isn't even the last page. So, this is my entertainment page, and it is split, split into two halves. So, the left side is gaming, and so the two rows coming down, going down, down the left of a gaming. So, we have the Xbox app because I use, well, I have an Xbox. PlayStation, but um, I use my Xbox socially, and that's how I game my friends. My PS5 is only for single player games, so my Xbox and my uh, Xbox Game Pass app, because I do have Game Pass as well, which is pretty useful. If you want to go in there, you can like start downloading the game early if you want to for the Xbox app. It's really good app, really good. You can see um, if you're not online, you can see what mates are online. You can be like, oh, this so and so's on. Oh, let me hop on real quick. It's pretty good. MetaQuest as well, which you can use to pay for and download uh, games on your MetaQuest headset. Uh, really useful. I haven't gone, I haven't actually used it in a while. Um, I bought um, Resident Evil 4 VR, and I still need to. I still need to complete it. It's just I do get a little bit more motion sickness than I thought I would, but it's still fun. And then we have the Overwatch clean cap because uh, I follow Overwatch religiously. I think at, at this point it's safe to say. Uh, so I do follow the league, although I haven't been watching the league too much this year because London have been stingy, very, very stingy this year. Um, yeah, they've been bottle, bottom barrel and it's, not, it's just not fun or interesting when your team is not winning games. Like, you, you just don't want to watch. I haven't really been watching it too much, but I've still been following it. Uh, I have been watching the Overwatch World Cup, though. That has been really fun to watch. And Team GB coming out on top. Yes, lads, it's coming home, it's coming home. It's not coming home. Uh, and then we have the uh, cringe known as Destiny 2. Now, my friend persuaded me to get the Lightfall DLC, um, to much regret. Um, it's, uh, I don't know how I feel about Destiny. And, like, with Destiny, you can like quickly change out things on your character without having to go into the menus and, and whatnot. And you can claim uh, or get bounties and whatnot. Um, yeah, I haven't really looked too much into it. And then we have the Crossword app and some other games, Crossword, uh, Figure It and Duolingo. We don't know, it's not really a game, but it plays like a game. Uh, I haven't really used them in a while, I probably should try a little bit more Duolingo. And then again, underneath we can see the News, the News tab. And this is set to Gaming, so all gaming news. And this one is actually quite re re relevant to me. It's about Blizzard Overwatch anime series. Oh yeah, that releases today. I think it's actually already out. So uh, after this, I'll probably, probably watch it. I'm really excited for that anime series. It's probably going to be one of the better things um, coming out from Overwatch this year. Because uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's too much coming out from Overwatch that we can really praise this year. <laughs> And then if we move to the right side, this is like my video and movie streaming side. Uh, so at the top we have another news panel, and this is set to movies. And what's this all about? Film set, docuseries, Guy Ritchie. I don't know, a bunch of different stuff basically. So um, like I said, gaming and movies, again, they're my hobbies along 
sneakers so all the news tabs on my phone are about my hobbies and my interests stuff i may find interesting and then we just have apps like prime video uh, prime i think is probably the best streaming service out there i i say that because you can also get subsidiary streaming services like movie and film box and a bunch of others through prime as well so that's why i think it's the best just because the amount of selection it has and then crunchyroll and funimation for anime which i've gone into recently and then we have now tv um which is a, a utter and complete ripoff um essentially now tv so all the hbo it, like uh, shows up and onto now tv so that's our, this is our version of hbo basically so the likes of secession and the last of us and whatnot are put on now tv the idol but who watched the idol that looks terrible and euphoria but i will never watch euphoria ever uh, we have now wi-fi so we kind of got now tv for free or not i don't know we paid for something i might just end it because i just don't use now tv and then i'll buy it again when last of our season two comes up and then i'll stop paying for it again <laughs> and then apple tv i don't use apple tv and then just watch is a fantastic app um that shows you recently released films sorry apologies i've been holding holding in that yawn for a while um, so yeah, Just Watch is an app that shows you what films have been recently released on what streaming service. So you can see what's been released on a Prime video today, or you can see what's been released on Netflix, Disney+, Plus, etc, etc. So it's a really good way just to keep track and see what's new and what's been taken away. It's really good. And you can like bin um, films to see and you can get notified when one of the films you want to watch that you can't currently watch when it becomes available. So it's pretty useful. Um, so yeah, there is my entertainment section, and then the last page, don't worry, it's not a big page, the last page, it's only a couple of laps, it's a bit of like a, a miscellaneous page, stuff that I was, wasn't too sure where to put, or just kind of ran out of room, uh, so no, who knows, maybe this can grow into like it's full on, full fledged page, one day when I download more stuff, so we have the Stagecoach app, which I use for buses, um, used to use this quite a bit but now Bella's got a car so hopefully won't be able to get the bus as much anymore and then all newer this is an app for my light so um if look i press press the on off button changes the color and then i have my other light there which is like a more golden um light just add a bit of like a golden complexion to my face oh wow uh, so i do have myself a three point light setup so i have the two lights there and then i have my ring light kind of looking down on me here uh, it's not technically a proper three point light setup because for a three point light setup this light would be used as a backlight to create a halo effect on me but i'm using it as i guess a back lighting light <laughs> to light up the background so it's still a form of a three point light setup so this is just how I control my lighting and you can sometimes you'll see I change up the lighting and you can just go into this page and you can just mess around with the hues or saturation and you know change the colour how you want it to be, how I change it now just because I like how I have it set up right now. So yeah, really useful app for my for my lights. And then Nord VPN and then Patreon and then boom uh, ultimate is this is for my speaker so you can like change like the bass and, and whatnot change the language i had it set to russian for quite a while i don't know why i forgot i did that and when i booted up to get the living daylight out of me and then hmrc the um place that fine me for not filling out my taxes so that was all fun <laughs> so yeah hmrc is just for tax basically nothing fun boring uh and then yeah and then we get to the app library so that is my iphone what is on my iphone now you guys know so let's count the pages one two three four five six seven pages all together which some people may cast but they may find a little bit excessive it's just how i like it I, like i said i like everything having everything in their uniform uh, categories basically uh, and oh accidentally loaded up the widget and i know it's a lot but yeah um so yeah that is what's on my iphone i do hope you guys did find it quite interesting i know it's quite a long video almost an hour explaining what's on my phone so hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys i was not expecting it to take this long just to show you guys what's on my phone what i get 
this. It is seven pages long, so uh, yeah, um, I really, I really do appreciate it if you have watched it at the end. I know that was way too long. 